Hi everyone, today's tutorial is going to be about creating GCP service account with IAM condition but with using Terraform. In the last tutorial, we did the same activity via the GCP console. This time we are going to do it via the Terraform scripts. So let's get started. Let's first go to console.cloud.google.com. Make sure you're logged in with your right credentials. I am logged in with mine. Select the project you want to work in. And um, for this tutorial, I'm going to use Cloud Shell. Because this is not a deep depth deep depth of terraform so i will just quickly show you the scripts that is already available with me so i have or i have made a module with the name of gcp service account it has two resource block one of gcp service account uh, with which we can create a you know service account the other one is of google project i am member through which we can give the roles appropriate role to the service account moving on to this is how we are calling the module the name of the module for me is fa with condition this can be anything the source is where I have my code stores, which is uh, modules and then GCP service account. Then the name of the service account that I want to create here. The name that I want to give is SAIM condition TF. The role that I want to give is instance admin. And then the this is the important part, how we can give condition. So my request time should be less than of 20 minutes from now so it is 3 40 let me time we have to give in utc so let's see it is 10 10 now so the date today is 31st i am going to give this just 10 10 so 10 30 we'll do this is seconds like seconds yeah expire in 20 minutes that's it that's it my code is ready let's go ahead and first of all do terraform in it terraform plan so that we see what all will be created Once you have the plan ready and you're okay with the plan, go ahead and do an apply. There's a form apply. Let's quickly check the project ID is right. The role that I want to give is right. Expression is right. The display name is right. So let's go ahead and do a apply. It will again show me the same plan and I can confirm with the yes. If I'm okay with the plan to go ahead. Now the service account has been created. Let's go and see. So if I go and see here, my service accounts. should be able to see this is the essay that we created essay i am condition tf this is a description that we gave display name that we gave now let's see on the i am section if the condition is there or not so Yes, I copied the wrong thing. So this is the service account that we created and we have the condition here. We created a condition with the name of expire in 20 minutes. Now that we saw that the service account is there, our condition is there. Let's just 
go and try to impersonate the service account so i am just going to go ahead and cheat cloud or config hold on on this can't find the command that i was looking for so i'm just going to go ahead and use my rewrite the whole command again g cloud config set auth impersonate service account then the service account we created I'm going to copy it from here control c control v and work it says that the impersonation is done and I am I can now use this service account for so let's try and test this out because the service account has the right permission so I can go ahead and do gcloud compute instances list and I should be able to get the list of all the instances in the project Currently, there is one instance in the project. Let's just wait for 20 minutes and then if I run the same command again, it should throw me the error that I don't have the appropriate permission for this because according to the activity we did earlier a few minutes back, this service account the role on the service account should expire within 20 minutes. So let's just wait for that. And let me come back once that 20 minutes gets over. So it's been more than 20 minutes. Let's go ahead and first impersonate the service account and then, you know, run the gcloud compute instances list. We should get a error that we don't have the enough permissions. Yeah, so we got the error that compute instance list permission for we don't have the right amount of permission for to perform this action. Why we don't have the right amount of action? Because we gave the role of compute instance admin to the service account and we gave a condition to that, that it should expire after 20 minutes. It's been more than 20 minutes and the role has expired. So we are unable to perform. Uh, we are unable to get any output by executing this command. I hope you like the tutorial. Thanks for watching.